Hi guys, it's Vector V here. Hope you guys are having a great day and if not, hope you will get better. For this video, I want to give some advice regarding charge break, specifically on the skills and builds to help the upcoming new players that are about to dive into Monster Hunter Rise once it releases on PC. With that said, let's dive into it. If you have played any Monster Hunter game starting from Monster Hunter 4, or play the MS Rise demo, you must already be familiar with the charge build or at least you know the basic combos. What I want to teach in this video is the skills to look for when making your charge build build and I will be giving some build of my own at the end. Like for any other weapon, attack skills are important but in the charge build case, the number one skill you should look for is artillery. Artillery at level 3 gives a boost of 30% on your fire damage while attack gives you 10% plus an additional plus 10 on your base attack. Here is a comparison video to show you, to show you how much attack level 7 and artillery level 3 affect your fire damage. On the first clip with attack level 7, our fire damage was 62. However, with artillery 3, our fire damage was 72. It's a plus 10 difference between the two skills. The attack skills comes at the second most important skill, and for you to see a noticeable damage difference, you will need attack level 4 minimum. But I will recommend attack level 6 or 7 if you can. The third most important skill is Bludgeoner. Bludgeoner is a new skill introduced in Monster to Rise, which gives you a 10% attack boost if your sharpness is green or lower. Quick notice, this skill only works if at level 3, below that don't even use it. This skill doesn't tell you it increases your fire damage but it does and it's a good skill to have if you can. Skills like Offensive Guard, Load Shell, Rapid Morph are really not that important but they are just quality of life skills if so to speak. For example, Load Shells at level 2 allows you to recharge your fire even at yellow state which is different from its world version where it increases your fire clips from 5 to 6. Here is a video clip to show you. Another thing to point out is the food skill Dengo Bombardier, which also affects your fire damage. Now I will be showing two of my builds to give you guys an idea of what a damage focused charge build build should look like. The first build is an offense build. This build uses Axe Hopper and Ultra Element Discharge as its primary source of damage. To make this build as comfy as possible, I put in Load Shells and Rapid Morph. Load Shells is really useful since it allows me to replenish my fire fast enough to spam Axe Hopper. The second build has for primary source of damage the Ultra Element Discharge. This build is a counter build that uses both defense and offense. The whole purpose of this build is to guard point monsters attack and follow with an Ultra Element Discharge. If you don't know what is a guard point, it's basically blocking the monster attack that is about to hit you by pressing on the switch ZR and X just like this. To make this build work, you need at least 2 levels of offensive guard because it gives you a 10% more attack damage on successful guard point. You also need the switch skill counter morph slash and the sick bind attack counter peak performance. Having one level of guard is also mandatory because it helps you block most monsters attack. There you have it guys, this is how you make your own charge build build. If you guys have any questions, put them in the comment section. Thank you guys for watching.